This video is from my Most Important Cloud Concepts collection. If you'd like to watch the full series where I describe all concepts in a single video, check out the link in the description. And for this one, I want to talk about very briefly availability. And this one is actually very closely related to the topic that's coming after this. So when we say availability, what we really mean is how often is our application up and running at any, at any given point in time? Right. Sometimes you see terms or numbers uh, from AWS or GCP or Azure, like you see numbers like this. This application has 99.9999999, you know, it goes on and on uh, percentage of availability. And what this essentially translates to, like there's a mathematical formula where you can actually calculate this. Um, what it translates to is on average, per year or month or time frame, whatever you're looking at, like some period of time of outages. So maybe it's like 99.9 .9 translates to five minutes of the year. You can expect to have an outage in a service or an application. And so this is what availability generally refers to. Now, how do you increase availability? How do you make it so your application is more prone to be available and more resilient to outages? Well, it combines a lot of the different concepts that we already talked about, right? There's this concept of horizontal scaling, right? Where we added multiple different instances, right? And now we have a load balancer and then we can distribute traffic to them. We already kind of learned about this. And, you know, we know now that if this instance goes down, it doesn't really matter. Things can carry on as usual. We can direct traffic over here, over here, over here. This is one uh, aspect of availability. There's other things that you can do as well, such as distribute these instances to different geographic data centers. Um, they call these availability zones, availability zones. And these are like physically separate data centers, right? So you can think of them as like, uh, there's a separate building, building one, building two, uh, and actually, as I'm saying this, I'm realizing that they're not necessarily always separate buildings. This is kind of something that AWS hides from you. It could be like a segregation in a building. So like this can be considered building one and then two, and then this could be three and four. And what they do is they, they guarantee that there's separate power lines that go into each one. Um, separate um, internet lines, se basically separate everything that goes into each one. So they, although they're the same building, they're actually partitioned into separate groups. Um, so this is another way that you can increase your availability for your application by hosting your application in these different availability zones, right? So maybe you put like, you know, this instance in this availability zone, uh, this instance, although it's down right now in this availability zone, this instance in this one, uh, and this instance in this one, right? So this is one way that you can increase the availability of your application or your service. Okay, so this is cloud availability. Uh, let's move on now to talk about kind of a related concept, which is this concept of